morning everybody hey I didn't plan a video this morning uh, I didn't plan a walk around video this morning God gave me something really good that I'll video and share later but bringing Odie boy out so he could do his business this morning this yard is a total wreck from the hurricane and from all the floods but there's so much beauty here that I just love and adore, and I want to show you some of it. Look at all the pears on my pear tree. I've got, I think, five pear trees. <clears throat> that big one back over there is dead. It's got some limbs coming up from the graft you can see that are still alive let me zoom in a little if Odie will let me see down at the bottom there but the original tree is dead I had another one back over close to that driveway it died several years ago but this one here is loaded with pears and so that excites me I can make pear preserves later this year these are not good for eating because they're hard as a rock but they sure make good uh, pear preserves look at this bush I, I looked <clears throat> looked this one up online last year and I forgot what it's called but that thing is beautiful I don't know if you can see all the purple blooms on it and you know what? I don't see one bee on it anywhere. They must be sleeping late today. <coughs> and walk over here to this one. You can see I'm still wearing my mud boots and there's still water everywhere. And when I went to bed last night, we had a 82% chance of more thunderstorms today. But they have moved away. They didn't come here. There is a chance for some around 6 p.m. this evening, and I'm praying those away also. I don't want any more rain for about 23 years. My roses are doing beautiful. These bushes have really grown this year. I keep deadheading them. One day, last time I mowed, I sit here and on the seat of the tractor and I forgot how many. I, I deadheaded over a hundred buds that had uh, done their due for the year. And I see there's more I need to deadhead now. And look at that chrysanthemum. That chrysanthemum is either three or four years old and it's finally starting to bloom. Usually they bloom in January. And this one has had buds on it for two or three months and it's finally just now starting to bloom. There's a smaller one under there. It's starting to, buds on it starting to open up also. And I had another one over here, but it died. Look at those cactus I picked up at the Appen Family Ranch back in January. They're alive and doing good. I think that's all I wanted to show you. I gave in the middle of one of the down pours <coughs> I think on Saturday <coughs> I got persimmon trees that came up on their own all over the place and a friend of mine wanted some so I dug up three one of them came from there and I had never dug up a persimmon tree before y'all but it was pouring down rain when I came out here and dug it up and I just left them and those things got one heck of a root system on them. The root on the one I dug up here, and this, this tree here was about a foot tall, about 12 inches tall. It had about six feet. One root was about six feet long. I dug, and I dug, and I dug. And I got most of it. I didn't get all of it. Hopefully it'll live. But anyway, I came out this morning and pushed down all the dirt. So I can mow over it someday if it ever dries up enough and if I ever get 
the garden tractor running again. There's water standing everywhere. I'll run you over and show you the one vegetable garden I got this year. It's doing great. This place looks like a mess because of all the rain and me not being able to mow in several weeks. First, the garden tractor broke again. And the day the guy was supposed to come out and pick it up to repair it was when the rain started. And it hadn't stopped raining yet. He's going to need a helicopter to get it out of here. This is my new rose bed. It's doing good. They were all stunted when I moved them and put them in a bed, but they're doing good now. That's a new Serrano pepper plant there. There's another one right there. And then I got one, two, three, four, five roses in it. And I have weeded that thing many times and it keeps coming back. I don't know what that is. It came up, so I left it. It's probably a squash, because I had a lot of squash in here last year. My uh, lantanas that I thought had died in that hard freeze we got are starting to look good and bloom again. I'm thankful for that. I still got tons of onions if anybody needs any onions. Come on by and get them. I got red onions and white onions. Or they're, they're called green onions, but they're white. My poison ivy is doing good. I can't kill that stuff. I have tried and tried and tried. Now let me show you my grapes. Look at that. Can you see the grapes? I got lots and lots of grapes. They're everywhere. Look in there. These are black Spanish grapes. They're green right now, but they'll turn black. And they're an excellent table grape, seedless. So I'm excited about my grapes. This is my only vegetable garden now. The rain's kind of beat it down some, but what I got there is looking good. I was going to plant some radishes down here, but I hadn't yet. But radishes you can plant any time of the year. All right, that's it for now. i got to feed the birds and the squirrels and go check on the bees. Talk to you all later.